are you all doing? On today's video, we're gonna be tackling this room right here. Um, it needs a lot of uh, tension, um, a lot of growing boys. We, we are going to be uh, tackling this dresser. So I kind of already started, but I haven't done anything really. All that clothes that you see out there, I have taken it out of. Um, this is Josh's dresser down here. And he is moving up on size which is the current size that Jace is in um, or Jace has stuff in there uh, and Jace is moving one size up so um, kind of like moving shifting over things um, over here I am going to sort this out in the closet it's a complete disaster um, I'm going to show you just a little bit here I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but um, it's pretty dusty and so we're gonna completely clean the room and give it a spring cleaning and and the clothes sorted sorted out this is how I keep their clothes um, but there's a lot of shirts that are kind of short on the sleeve so that means that he's moving has to move up on size and then the pants there are a lot of pants that don't fit him anymore or we don't use um, at all so we're gonna kind of sort that out and make sure that he has what he needs and plus also the um, the season is changing of course so I'm I think I'm gonna start moving some more like uh, shorts and short sleeves shirts kind of thing in here um, there are some pajamas here like this this definitely needs some attention um, these pajamas like footed pajamas that uh, my kids don't use anymore that that's what I actually took out from Josh's um, dresser all the footed pajamas they were just staying there and not getting used so I am going to also do that um, and yeah just kind of reorganize the the book area it's a disaster as well and mr josh over here is making another mess while i'm talking so it's a little bit of everything that needs to happen in this room so i'll give you like a full-on uh view of of every corner and then uh we'll see where it takes us at the end of the video I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you get some inspiration to get your cloud, uh, your house or your kid's room or a certain area of your house that needs um, attention. Get that uh, motivation. I enjoy watching these videos a lot. So I am sure that probably there are a lot of people also enjoy watching them. So uh, yeah, let's get moving. Get your um, duster and your motivation on and let's get going
things up a little bit and uh, and uh, continue on after they were done taking a nap because they need a nap and I am not gonna stop that <laughs> so I started off on the closet because I thought that was like the broader biggest issue of all um, I mean you saw there was clothes on the floor there were um, pieces of clothing everywhere and so I thought that that would be the best way to uh, focus plus um, the dressers were a little bit more of like um, focus, uh, like sit down and focus time to kind of decide if I'm going to keep this, if I'm going to switch it to the other kid and stuff like that. So the closet was the easiest way for me to go, even though it did took like pre pretty much all morning um, until uh, the kids needed to take a nap. Um, but it worked out well, um, so I did uh, actually got a lot done in the morning. Um, I have a little nightstand uh, in the closet there that I was just putting stuff, you know, one of those things that you just put things in there that you don't know where to put them and you just stuff them in there and then forget all about them. Uh, <clears throat> that's kind of what happened. And then while I'm doing this, I'm thinking to myself, why in the world they have so much stuff and I think I have shared this before in my other videos related to their things they are fortunate enough that they get hand-me-downs from their cousins and um, uh, my sister's kids and stuff like that so they do get a um, few things from that all right guys I think I'm gonna put a stop a hold over here for now because uh, the kids are about to take a nap but so far, uh, the closet is pretty much uh, sorted out. These clothes right here, I just uh, stick it in there because this is uh, something that is going to go in the dresser for Jace. Um, but I kind of wanted to keep, keep it out of sight. Um, I organized this little nightstand. Oops, sorry guys. I organized this nightstand and uh, it's much more tidy and um, this is a, um, a humidifier and that's gonna be a bag that I am going to store um, these are like memories kind of things that I I don't want to get rid of sentimental stuff and then here is pretty much clean I don't know if you guys do the same thing but I can't really have things hanging for the kids most of their clothes is folded um, it, this is just pretty much jackets that I have here and then um, and then since since the season is kind of over for jackets they don't really need a ton um, I changed their sheets I have to you okay I have to take these off uh, but I changed their sheets, I dusted off, um, and Jace is helping me clean that. Very nice, Jace. Good job. Thank you. Beautiful. Um, and oh, the same over here. I changed his sheets. It's all ready and set for him to take a nap. I dusted all around the area. Um, I guess it's pretty much what's left is get take this out and resort that's like the most time consuming part I think it's sort the sort out the clothes um, and dust the furniture I did dust that that one right there but um, change the clothes organize the drawers and that's pretty much it but I'll take you on that after they take a nap all right guys and we're back at it and we are starting with jace's dresser although on this portion of the dresser the very top they do share socks so all the socks are on that area plus all the swing stuff that they both have they have that on the first drawer um i don't like i mentioned earlier um i don't see myself hanging a lot of stuff it's just a lot easier for me on this stage for the kids to be able to have them folded and to be able to grab them i feel like there's just so little pieces of, of clothing that um i they just don't belong hanging 
to me. Um, I don't know. I, I'm intrigued to know if you guys um, go the other way around. If you fold uh, very little and then you hang a lot of their clothes. Um, on another topic, as uh, I ha you probably and if you haven't checked that out, I did my closet declutter organizing video. And on that case, I pretty much hang most of my clothes. So my closet uh, on the hangers, they're completely packed jam in there. Um, but the dresser is not as much just because for me on that area, for my personal clothes, I just don't see myself um, using uh, things as much when they're in the dresser than when they're in the hanger. But it's different with the kids. It is kind of strange. But um, yeah, I thought that I will share and see how you guys handle your situation. I think it's different for everyone. Plus, I mean, my closet for the kids, it's, it's there's not a lot of room for them to have like section areas for one one of each of them. Uh, so for me, it works this way better. Um, and I also want to mention ever since I watched Mary Kondo many years ago, um, I had gotten inspired by the way uh, things are folded. So I conditioned myself and uh, train myself to um, fold this way and I let me tell you is just the best way to go uh, truthfully and uh, you'll find your ways as well but for me this has worked so so well um, because just having it folded like that and kind of like um, I don't even know how to explain it but just kind of in square um, pieces where you see every single piece of clothing uh, it keeps things a lot more tidier, a lot more organized, and you are able to visualize and grab them a lot easier than if you have them uh, pile up on top of each other like I used to at the beginning of my history with dealing with clothing and stuff. <laughs> so I found these super helpful. Um, if you have that uh, implemented into your lifestyle, I would love to know. And if you don't, I will highly suggest you to try it. It does take a little bit, uh, get used to it and kind of train yourself to get it done that way um, just a few times. But thinking about that it's going to be better, um, it is definitely going to stick with you. All right, guys, I think I'm starting to get excited just because we're coming to an end of this long journey of organization, cleaning and decluttering of this boys room. Um, and the reason why I'm doing a lot of voice all over is because I have a lot of loud music playing in the background. The kids are dancing and I'm dancing and, you know, I can't play the, the songs, but um, but yeah. It is so much fun to um, being able to do this with the kids um, while they are actually uh, having a good time playing together. And other times they're not so much fun because they either want the same toy or you know, you know what I mean. So I don't know if this happens to you guys, but when you have a space that you just like open it up and it's completely a disaster and you're just like, oh, I don't have time for that. And um, you just keep shutting it down, shutting it down. And then you're like, okay, 
there is a time that I need to get this done and reorganize. That's how this felt and it felt so, so good um, that it, 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 give me, it gives you a peace of mind and a, a kind of a therapeutic if, effect when you're done with it. Um, and so, so uh, gratifying when you're done. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that I should share that because it's, it's really um, a nice way to kind of look at it um, when you're dreading to do something. Um, like working out, for example, um, because you prefer to sleep or just because you don't have time or you just don't like how the effort it feels like or whatever but towards the end of the um the the exercise or that thing that you're dreading so much you are like a, a weight lift up of your your shoulders it's such an amazing uh feeling so i highly recommend to you try this um, on a weekly basis even you know on a regular basis to have that um, it is truly a therapeutic effect um, and just right now pretty much what I uh, I did not intend to uh, organize it this way um, but it turned out that way and I think it worked out um, pretty good for for our needs and the kids are just playing around, coming in and out, bringing their stuff, and then saying, checking in and leaving me, um, but it's pretty cute. Um, I was kind of uh, taking the stuff out of Jace's dresser, putting them in Josh's dresser, kind of shifting things around that way. Alright guys, I think we are pretty much done with the uh, kids' bathroom, uh, reorganize, declutter, and resort things out because as growing little toddlers, they change sizes, they change in what they're into and everything. And also spring coming, um, we need to kind of get that um, prepared and ready to go for them as far as clothes goes. So I will show you guys how it ended. And if you are new, I will hope that you guys stay and subscribe. Um, I will be making other videos because I have another uh, guest closet that it really, really needs my attention. So I'm, that's probably what I'm gonna tackle next. And I hope you guys follow along. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for being here. Here, and I will show you guys a sort of every drawer how it turned out. I think it's much much better. My stress level has dropped dramatically. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and get some inspiration to tackle your own uh, little area that needs some attention. All right. So as you walk into the kids' room, that is um, Josh's dresser and this uh this is uh, jace's dresser um we'll start with jace's dresser on the very top i have swimming stuff underwear socks and then um the second drawer um it's gonna be shirts <laughs> i have narrowed them down so much so the front area and i kind of squeeze them because I, I think i'm gonna have um on the guest room i have some other shirts that i have to bring over here um but that's probably when uh, more spring shirts will come along those the back area is these are uh short sleeves kind of preparing for when we need those all these are long sleeves for him uh, then we have all the pants over here those are front are more jeans and more formal kind of wear and the back are sweatpants hey over here we have pajamas there's only pajamas in here and then um for josh's dress dresser for Josh's dresser, we have PJs. Um, 
So that's, um, this is the area for the PJs. Um, I kind of um, put like short sleeve PJs here and more like um, uh, cold weather PJs there. Um, over here are, so before I only had this drawer for all shirts and now I split into two since spring is coming and hot weather is coming up, I put all um, uh, short sleeve shirts in here and then um, I put all the long sleeve shirts on this side um, which I'm gonna have to train my husband so he knows where things are now <laughs> uh, and over here we have also shorts and um, like uh, shorts overalls and stuff like that and then on this side we have all the pants and uh, jeans and um, kind of cold weather stuff so that's what we have and then is you if you look up now all the books are lined up and organized I dust everything um, the clutter that area I don't know if I showed it in the previous um, before but I had a hamper right there and it was always bothering me because I had uh, it was like always like hitting the the slider there so I put that away and I'll show you guys where I put it now I don't know even if I show you guys what was in here but it was a completely mess um, over here I'm just keeping the record from their um, like shot records and doctor's visits kind of stuff and then down here I organized uh, I put all the the um, uh, winter gloves and cold weather hats and then just regular hats on the other side um, this is what it looks like now and then the bed and over here I kind of decluttered that table then we move on into the closet I organize the shoes and these are their memory boxes um, this is where I put the hamper now so it's a lot more accessible there and less issue I put some uh, more dress shirts and shorts, uh, sleeve shirts in here, um, and then some jackets up here, and um, so it's pretty light uh, now since I declutter over here. More like um, some medicine and some refills on the um, diaper genie. And here are shoes that are really big for Jace. So uh, that's gonna be uh, for when he can use that. But yeah, it looks a lot better. This is pretty much empty. Over here I had like um, blankets and stuff and they were really like baby blankets that they were never gonna get used anymore. So I am going to um, use one of those airtight um, bags to have those, keep those, but um, be out of sight. So now, believe it or not, that took pretty much all day because I had to take a break in between for their uh, nap and whatnot, so that took a pretty chunk of my day uh, that was my main focus and I'm so glad I did it but it, it was something that needed my attention and needed really my focus so it was much needed I'm so glad it's done and I can move on and have a cocktail because you know what it's Friday and I hope you guys have a great weekend or whenever I think I'm gonna be posting this net for next week but you guys enjoy and have a wonderful day and I hope you guys enjoy my video give it a thumbs up and subscribe I will see you guys on the next one bye